and squeeze a little bit out. Completely cover the canvas. Then what you want to do is wash your brush out, let that dry, come back to it and sand it if needed. Now we're ready to begin. We're going to be using Dioxazine Purple, Light Ultramarine Blue, Phthalo Blue, Hot Pink, Neon Yellow, Titanium White. Beginning with a flat brush, I'm going to take pink and white and I'm going to pull the brush diagonally across the canvas. Then we're going to take purple and blue and add that in the top right portion of the canvas back and forth diagonally again. Then you're going to take phthalo blue and white and begin painting diagonally next to the purple and in between the pink. Now it's okay if you overlap the colors, it'll look even prettier. I'm picking up a little bit of water when I need to, to help spread that paint around evenly. And we're going to do the bottom left corner as well. Okay, now I'm going to take dioxazine purple and go right through the center with a diagonal line and then soften around the edges. For the next step, we're using a mini fan brush, taking both blues and the purple with just a little bit of white. Load both sides evenly. And we're going to start pulling and flicking up very gently for a forest. We'll do longer flicks towards us in the foreground and then short little flicks for the background to make it look like that's far away and those trees are getting smaller and smaller. Now I'm going to scumble side to side across with the tip of the fan brush, pushing and blending around for some shadow in the foreground and then we'll be able to add some white later on and our snow will really show up. Now I'm just adding some more shadow with either purple or phthalo blue, or you can mix both of them together. Okay, we're going to begin working on our sun. Clean, fan brush, a little bit of yellow and white. Begin in the center, pull around, and do a circle. Then we're going to softly blend and create a ring around that to make it look hazy. And I'm taking a little bit of titanium white just on my pinky and dabbing it gently in the center of the sun to make it really bright. We're going to be using an old toothbrush now to apply the snow. Take water, white and yellow, and flick with your finger, pulling all those bristles up. And we have a bunch of snow falling in the sky now. Now we're going to use a liner brush. Any liner brush of your choice will do. Take white and yellow and tap and push gently to create some larger pieces of snow or stars. Now the idea is the sun is setting on a beautiful winter day at the end of a winter day and you can start to see the stars coming out. So I'm just gently flicking tiny little brush strokes to create little sparkling stars. I think we're gonna start adding some trees now. With a clean mini fan brush, pull into the purple both sides and some blue. You can use both blues. We'll begin pulling up on an angle for our small tree in the background using the edge of our brush or the corner. Tap lightly for the small branches and then 
harder and using the rest of the brush for the larger branches. For our next tree on the left, we're gonna make this one on a slight slant as well and pull up just to the sun. Remember to load your brush each time and get a little bit water of water when you need to. We'll do the same thing, tap with a corner of our brush at the top, paint all those little tiny baby branches and then begin pushing harder. Tap side to side for fuller and darker, thicker branches. Time to start our next tree. This one's gonna be on a slant as well. And we're gonna tap at the top and then thicker all the way down. Now this is the biggest one we're gonna do and it's gonna be on a slant again. And it's gonna be really tall coming right above our sun. Tapping lightly at the top. You're gonna to push a little bit harder this time this is gonna be a really big tree, so the branches are gonna be the largest on this one. You may have to load your brush a few times for this. Remember to use phthalo dioxazine. You can also use the light ultramarine blue as well. You don't wanna use any white for this though. We're gonna save that white for the snow. Okay, I just had to go grab some filbert brushes. We're using two sizes, a smaller one for the top of the tree and a larger one for the rest of the tree. So we're gonna load our brush with white, tiny bit of blue and purple, but more white than purple. And let's begin tapping lightly at the tops of the trees first and then working our way down. You're using the tip of the brush and pushing gently. You're gonna to need to reload your brush quite often for this. And then start working on this one again at the top leaving some spaces in between so we still see those shadows and know that those branches are there. Pushing and tapping. It's nice to have those soft shades in between from uh, in between the contrast so we've got some softer tones, mid-tones there. And we can also tap along the edges and the base of those trees creating the illusion that there's snow covered rocks and stones and tree stumps maybe down there, just some foreground. Okay, let's begin this big tree, starting at the top, really loading our brush using the very tip. Tiny little dabs at the top for those baby ones. And then side to side tapping and kind of slightly curving your brush over to make it look like those trees are weighed down by the snow and the branches, and those branches are also weighed down. So remember to keep reloading your brush each time and you can have thicker amounts of white and snow in some spots. It doesn't have to be completely even all over the trees and branches. So change it up a little bit. This is just such a fun painting to work on. I love all these colors together and I love painting snow. I'm going to be doing a few more of these in the following months and Christmas ornaments. So stay tuned. As soon as I get back to my condo on the island, I'm going to be starting the ornament tutorials. So let's just finish adding some more snow down on the bottom in the foreground. Finishing up all these trees. giving a nice bright highlight in the center of that sun 
I guess it could be a moon as well. It looks like it could be a moon with the stars up in the sky. It's up to you guys. You can choose if yours is a moon or a sun. Okay, I want to just add a little bit more snow to the trees in the foreground. And then we'll get started on adding some light highlights with, uh, we're going to make peach with pink and yellow and white. All right, let's start adding some soft yellow. We're gonna take any yellow that you have, just mix it with white. I'm using uh, neon from Holbein, neon yellow. And I'm gonna add just a little ring around that sun, but I'm gonna soften it off. It's just a little bit too dark. So I just, with a damp brush, took a little bit of that off and I'm gonna dust a little bit in the foreground. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is brighten up that sun just a little bit more as that paint dries it gets a little bit darker and tap a few more little stars here and there and some snowflakes so i'm just going to dab tapping lightly with the very tip of my liner brush you can use the toothbrush again for this if you want i just want to pick a few that are going to be a little bit brighter and a little bit thicker I really, really love this, and I decided that I wanted to add a creek and just a little bit of turquoise, so all I did was take phthalo, yellow, and white, and that's how you make this beautiful teal color. It's really, really easy. Um, so yeah, to make turquoise, you guys, phthalo, yellow, and white. Neon yellow works the best, I found, and I'm taking my liner brush, and I'm just scumbling a little bit in the sky, maybe a little little hint of some northern lights up there and then I'm going to soften with a little dry blending brush and add some turquoise down in the middle for a creek super easy and then white titanium white for some highlights on that creek you can also add a little bit more depth if you use more phthalo blue along the edges um, like if you want a little bit of shadow so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that right now dip into that turquoise that I made and tap and pull very softly and instantly we've got that shadow there it's so easy this painting is for all levels let me know if you guys have any trouble or you have any questions in the comments below but i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i'm so happy that i got to share this one with you guys today it's a really fun one i think you're going to enjoy it don't forget to hit subscribe like and tap that bell to get notified each and every